Hello there, you deeply desirable person. You, this is Chris from TechSpert, and I'm here with Google's new Nest Mini second gen, as you can see there. It's the successor to the original Google Home Mini, boasting several updates while retaining that same lovable dinky design. It'll basically add the Google Assistant to any room you chuck it in. Going to give it a full unboxing setup and take a tour of some of the best features and updates right now. Small and mighty, as you can see there, is the tagline for this bad boy. Um, just like me, really? Um, no, that's that's not true. Small, certainly. Mighty, not so much. Even a toddler could probably have me in a proper Barney. Now the Google Nest Mini will cost you £49 or $49 if you live stateside uh, when it comes out on October the 22nd. It's certainly one of the more affordable smart home devices right now. There's your actual Nest Mini right there. Let's just see what else you get in the box. I'm guessing it'll be straightforward stuff really. Yeah, a nice bit of plug action and a quick start guide and that's basically your wax. Yep, yeah, nice and simple. I do like the uh, the lovely white circular plug there. Certainly uh, very lovely and sort of fits in with the general aesthetics. Because of course the Google Nest Mini, just like the whole Mini before it, is all about fit in to what environment you chuck it in rather than sort of standing out but it does look very smart as you see there it's got a very similar fabric style finish to it uh, up top and then a sort of a rubbery base certainly is very cute and it comes in a range of colors as well you've got the sort of more standard colors like black charcoal things like that you've also got a sky blue version and this lovely uh, red model as well which i believe they call coral um, which again looks really really nice and good news if you're a bit of an eco warrior as well because that fabric section there is actually crafted from 100 percent recycled plastic bottles interestingly and the rest is at least 35% recycled materials as well so good for the environment well goodish not not terrible for the environment now as usual with a lot of these smart home devices there's no built-in battery here on the Google Nest Mini so you will have to keep it plugged in at all times for it to actually function you can't just take it on the road or anything thankfully the cord itself is a meter and a half long so no problem stretching it to the nearest plug point so there you have it Nest Mini is all plugged in as you can see there you've got the usual four LEDs up top and oh singing a lovely little song for us. Hello, Google Nest Mini. Hi. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. Yeah, exactly what she said. Well, luckily, I do already have the Google Home Mini app downloaded nice and easy, but if you don't have it, you can download it from the likes of the Google Play Store, and I believe it's on the App Store as well for iPhone users. And then all you've got to do is just go to Add right there on the main screen, and then Set Up Device. And then it'll just have a quick squint, see if it can find the Google Nest Mini, and hopefully, in just a couple of seconds, there we go, a nice bit of Nest Mini action, nice and simple and straightforward. And that's just the usual setup procedure for any new Google Home uh, item. I'm going to stick mine in the studio, but you can also add it to a new room or any other room in your abode. And when you're thinking about where to actually stick this thing as well, the good news is that the Google Nest Mini does actually have a wall mount here on the base as well. So you can just shove it on the wall, keep it more sort of out of the way. Of course, you will still have the cable attached and everything, so you'll have to either bury that in the wall or just kind of tidy it away with ties or something like that. Of course, Google Nest Mini, like all of the Google Assistant devices, supports a small range of music services as well. Obviously, the likes of YouTube Music do get a bit of Spotify and Deezer on the go in there as well. So let's just use a bit of that. Obviously, the majority of the time you'll be using your voice to control the Google Nest Mini as well, but it does actually have capacitive controls on it as well if you want to get involved, get actually stuck in with your fingers, so to speak. So as you can see there, quick tap in the middle can pause and play your music. If you want to change the volume, just tap the sides. And there is actually a physical mic switch here on the back as well. So we give that a quick flick. The mic's off. As you see there, you get voice feedback as well, and those LEDs turn red, so you know exactly when the mic is not active. The microphone is back on. So if you want your bit of privacy from the Google Assistant, that's the way to do it. And apparently the Google Nest Mini can even automatically adjust its own volume now based on the ambient environment. So in a really noisy room, it'll really boost it so you can actually hear what the Google Assistant is saying quite handy. Now a quick warning before we go any further, I am going to be seeing the OKG word quite a lot in this next sort of couple of minutes just to demonstrate some of the features and stuff. So if you do have the Google Assistant active anywhere in your home, you might want to lower the volume a bit, stick on some headphones, something like that, so all of your devices don't go nuts. So the Google Nest Mini has a triple Farfield mic arrangement compared with just the dual mic arrangement in the original Google Home Mini. Farfield mics means you can stand quite far away and it should pick up on your voice, even in quite a noisy environment as well. So I'm still about two meters away, just going to do a quick, hey Google, as you can see, picks up on your voice and it can pick up on a number of different voices in your household as well and give personalized feedback. Well, I'm now stood right across the other side of the room, so probably about three meters away now, and I'm going to get a noisy bit of TV on the go and see if the Google Nest Mini can still pick up my voice clearly. So here we go. Unmuting the TV. Hey Google, what's the weather like today? Get it back! Yes, 
So there you go, she picked up on my voice, no problem, even with that noisy cartoon in the background, and her response was suitably loud as well, so I could clearly hear. And those capacitive controls seem to work an absolute treat as well as the voice controls, so quick tap. Family of 19 year old Harry Dunn who died after Another tap and it shuts up. And of course, you've got the uh, the volume control Being as well. On his motorbike in Northamptonshire, met the US. As you can see, you've got the LED feedback when you're actually playing around with the volume. The American and one of my biggest bugbears with the original Google Home Mini was the rather tinny, crappy sound quality. It was to be expected because it's quite a small device, obviously. But I listened to a lot of music through my smart speakers and to hear that grainy sound quality was just not very pleasant at all. Here on the Google Nest Mini, it has been improved. You've now got a bigger amp in there and it can produce 40% more bass. You can definitely tell the sound quality difference as soon as you load up some music. Unfortunately, I can't play any music for you now because of various YouTube royalty issues. I'll basically get a slap on the wrist. Um, but take my word for it, it does actually sound better. Still not exactly perfect for blasting a bit of dance music or metal music, but for some nice chilled ambience, uh, you know, a nice bit of jazz, classical, or something like that, it definitely does the job. And one of the other big improvements here for the Google Nest Mini is the addition of a machine learning chip. And what that basically means is that a lot of the Google Assistant functionality can be shifted from Google's servers to the device itself so it doesn't have to be hitting the server, dealing with your request, and then coming back and save a lot of time and speed it up a lot. But unfortunately, this feature is only currently available in the US. Uh, so hopefully it'll be coming to the UK soon, maybe by the end of 2019, but frankly, I'm not holding my breath. So that right there, in a nutshell, is the Google Nest Mini. As I say, coming to UK stores, including the likes of Amazon and John Lewis, from October the 22nd for 49 quid, or if you're stateside, $49. Are you tempted by the Google Nest Mini? And if you've got the original Google Home Mini, are you thinking of an upgrade? Well, definitely let us know in the comments down below. And please do poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech. Cheers, everyone. Love you.